Our next guest is a, a very funny man who has a br brand new comedy album right here entitled Ridiculous. It's in stores now. Here's the always entertaining Norm MacDonald. You look great. I do, yeah. I we, mean, we you do too. Well, thank you very much. We haven't seen you in a while, and you look like you're really in shape. Are you taking care of yourself? You're working out? What's going on Me? here? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm all right. I, uh, I, I... <laughs> I, I, my cholesterol was, uh, I had problems with my cholesterol. Oh, yeah. So I went to my doctor last uh, year, and uh, um, I got my cholesterol checked, right? And then I came back again this year, and he's like, how are you doing with that cholesterol? Mm -hmm. And I go, uh, I'm not doing anything. And he goes, <laughs> he goes, well, I'm looking at your file here, and last year uh, it showed that your uh, cholesterol is alarmingly high. Oh, my. So I go, well, you didn't tell me that. Right. And he said, yo, I told you that. And I go, no. I would remember uh, that phrase alarmingly high, you know? <laughs> so he says, uh, well, let's do it again, you know? And I go, well, all I've been doing is eating cake and, uh, uh, you know, uh, swallowing, uh, chugging uh, half and half. So <laughs> I go, I know that the chugging, test... Chugging half and I half. I know the test will come back and it will be whatever the word is that's worse than alarmingly high, right. you know? So I was so scared, you know. So uh, it comes back, and it's really off the charts, you know. And I'm like, ah, oh, geez, man, are you going to have to do a letterman on me there, you know? <laughs> and he goes, uh, <laughs> so he goes, because I, you know, I, I don't want, I don't like that stuff. And he goes, uh, <laughs> he goes, no, we haven't reached that uh, level yet. You know, your cholesterol's high. You can lower it, but he goes, I, I have to warn you, you have to lower it, mm. or we're going to have to do a letterman on you. Yeah, so uh, I said, uh, uh, okay, you know, and uh, I went on this incredible, like, I did it myself. I just checked the WWW computer, and I found out all the things. <laughs> and in 10 weeks, I had, my cardiologist was, like, stunned. Yeah. She's worked in the field for 26 years and never seen it. But anyways, uh, from 296 to 120. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. But the only bad thing is they have bad cholesterol, good cholesterol. I mean, the, one of the cholesterols didn't uh, uh, change, and, and uh, my cardiologist uh, explained to me that that cholesterol will only be changed by exercise. Mm. So I was like, ah, oh, geez, you know. So, because <laughs> I'm really good at not doing things. Uh -huh. Like uh, uh, not eating stuff, but I'm bad at going out and doing stuff. And uh, so I went. I got a trainer, and it was all oh, not good. Tough. Yeah, man, alive! Holy crow! Yeah. Well, it looks like it's paid off. <laughs> it does. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of stuff was the trainer doing with you? He was. Uh, these guys are like superhuman. They look like uh, Dash Rip Rock, you know, from <laughs> earlier, you know. <laughs> They're like super human beings, you know? So they think you can do what they can do, you know? Right. And, and I told the guy, can I get you 50 bucks an hour? I said, look, don't try to earn your money or anything like that, you know? <laughs> like, all I want to do is get my cholesterol down. I don't care to have a vein in my arm. Yeah. And, you know, no use for abs. I just want to not die. So, uh, but he's like, uh, he's like, I know what you can take. I know what you can handle, yeah. you know? And I'm like, all right, you know? So he's got me doing them bench presses. And then he'd do this trick. Like, he'd go, OK, we're going to do 15. You know what I mean? Five more, three, four more, three more, two more, one, and 10 more. And I go, what the God are you? Uh, <laughs> Why did he say 25 in the first place, you know? know? So anyways, I'm in the gym there, and we're doing the things. And over in the corner, a fracas happens, a little thing. I, what, what happened over there? And uh, it turned out, guy had a heart attack. <laughs> and they took him away. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> He's like, yeah, man, I hope they don't have to do a letterman on that guy, you know? Uh... All right, Norm, stay right there. We'll be right back with Norm McDonald, everybody. Now you, uh, hey, Bill. 
You, uh, you did some traveling, I guess, since we last saw you. Were in, uh, yeah, I did. I never been overseas, and I went to Amsterdam. My dad uh, uh, was uh, in World War II. He was a lot uh, older than I was. Well, obviously, he was older than I was. <laughs> he had me when he was an, uh, an older fellow, and he, uh, he served in World War II, and he liberated uh, Holland, you know, uh, from the icy grip of uh, that dork Hitler, you know? Yeah. So, and, uh, I, you know, with Hitler, the more I learn about that guy, the more I don't care for him. <laughs> I can't... Yeah. And nothing, there's nothing redeeming about the guy. I tell you guys, I go, how on earth could these Germans, like, uh, follow this l lunatic, you know? And they're like, oh, he was a, an incredible public speaker, you know? He could, oh, he could uh, hypnotize you with his public speaking. And then I see him, he's like, strangely, strangly, strangly! I go, what? That's not my idea of a silver-tongued devil, you know? <laughs> so anyways, that's not the point. Yeah. The point is my dad went over and he liberated Holland. I'll tell you something about the Dutch, they don't forget, you know. My dad, uh, uh, a dirt poor farmer, you know, uh, uh, couldn't be poor, went uh, over to, uh, to Holland, uh, liberated the country, and, uh, and they f never forgot. Every five years he would go and uh, um, they would throw pedals, you know, and, and, and it was fantastic. They're still grateful. The Dutch yeah, were still grateful so for grateful, what the you know? Canadians had done. So uh, uh, I went over. Uh, uh, it was in the Canadian Army, right? Yeah, well, yeah. mostly it was my dad, but... Yeah. No, I, I used my dad as a surrogate I for the understand. entire Canadian yeah, Army. Right. But uh, uh, so I went over because my dad's dead. And uh, so I said, ah, oh, it'd be great to see, you know. And so I went to, uh, I went to Amsterdam, and uh, uh, oh, my Lord. Uh, at first, you know, it's a picturesque place. People are driving around on their bicycles over cobblestone streets with canals. It's Wind beautiful. Mills. Windmills. Yeah. And it looks, but then the whole country's gone to hell in a handbasket. They got, <laughs> you would not believe this. They got, you can do drugs legally. Really? Legally. They have a place called coffee shops, uh -huh. right? So I went into one. I said, hey, man, I like, I enjoy coffee. But like, can I have a coffee? They're like, we don't have coffee. <laughs> it's a coffee shop. They go, we got drugs. So I'm like, I don't want drugs. That's wrong. What's, what, the, what the hell are you talking about, you know? And then prostitutes. They have prostitutes in the window. You walk along and there's prostitutes in the window that you can go and have illegal sex. It's legal there. And it's all uh, uh, ass over tea kettle wrong, you know? <laughs> and uh, so then I had a whole different view of the place of just these, you know, crazy people. It's just not right. So anyways, one night I was going back to my hotel and uh, I'm going back to my hotel, and I can't find my hotel because everything's in, uh, you know, they're all foreigners, so it's all uh, <laughs> different language, hard to find streets and stuff. So I was walking around forever. <laughs> Finally, I see my hotel, you know, and I get there, and there's, but there's a red light, you know, and uh, have you ever been to those places where, not a red light, like a red light district. A traffic light. A, tra a stoplight that yeah. was red, and you know when the red never changes? Yes. You ever been yeah. in that ex yep. experience? So the, I'm standing there, and the red, a minute goes by, two minutes go by, three minutes go by, whatever, a minute go by, and, and it never changes, and there's no traffic at all, so finally I go, oh, I'll just walk across the red light, right? Yeah. What harm can be done? Walk across the red light, immediately a police officer oh. comes riding a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> so then this guy, you know, he's like, you know, talking with this foreign thing, and <laughs> so he writes me a ticket, you know, I go, are you kidding me? Your whole country's a bunch of drug-smoking prostitute <laughs> people, <laughs> you know? This doesn't make any sense. It doesn't does make it? any sense. And also, if it wasn't for my dad, then that uh, guy wouldn't get to have the freedom to drive his fruity bicycle anyway, yeah, you know? That's right. Yeah, he'd be living in a country where a guy was going, Scrangly, I'm ugly, scrangly! Uh, I'm glad you're back, Norm. Thank you, David. So here's the, uh, the new CD, Ridiculous, uh, in stores now. Norm, always a pleasure. Come oh, it's back great to soon. Back. Thank I you very much. Norm MacDonald, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back, everybody. Very funny.